Welcome to the Thought News Network, where we expose thoughts one headline at a time. Black Ram 313 for the News Network. Now, before I begin, I want to make note that the purpose of videos like this is to illustrate how we in this sector, particularly myself, how we are correct in what we speak of about her nature. This is to affirm the believer and to show proof to the skeptic and for all to see that what has been said and what is being said on my channel in particular, but others as well, that these things are true. So here's another illustration. I have a Dear Abby column that I found and the title of this column is Mom in Dating Game Ponders Trading Attraction for Security. And I quote, Dear Abby, I am a 40 year old mom of two girls who has been single for five years. In that time, I've dated a few men, but haven't found one who fulfills my wish list. Pause. Another illustration here. Just because she says she's single does not mean that she's not seeing someone. Now, logically, the way we use language, single means that she's not dealing with anyone. But for the female, for the modern female, words are used to cover up certain truths. In this case, single actually doesn't mean single. It means that she's seeing someone, but not committed to anyone. Now, of course, in our book, that means that you're not single. It means you're seeing someone or seeing others, plural, right? But in her mind, in fee it means that she's just not committed. But it does not mean that she sleeps alone each night. Her very way of speaking in and of itself is deceptive. Think about it. Back to the article. And I quote, the last man I was interested in seemed like he had possibilities. There was a strong mutual attraction. We spent a lot of time together, went on dates and were physically intimate. Pause again. Didn't I say that being single doesn't mean that she's not with someone? Back to the article quote. However, because of his recent divorce and subsequent emotional struggles, it became apparent that we wouldn't work out in the long term. It was disappointing, but we are still good friends and talk daily. Pause again. You know what that means? That means that they are still monkey dancing from time to time. Back to the article and quote. In the meantime, I've begun dating a very nice 48 year old man with whom I have a lot in common. He's very successful professionally and we get along well. He is also very attracted to me. If things continue to go well and it develops into a long term relationship, I have no doubt he will provide a very comfortable life for my children and me. Can you say hypergamy, anyone? Back to the article and quote. The problem is I'm not very attracted to him. He's a nice, normal looking man. But if I passed him on the street, I wouldn't give him a second glance. Pause. This is the modern dating era. A single mother of two who is 40, which means she has hit the wall. Is that picky, huh? Amazing. Back to the article and I quote, I continue to see him because it seems we may be compatible and I enjoy spending time with him. But is it wrong to be disappointed that I don't feel fireworks? Pause. Remember, she's always looking for a feeling. Back to the article and quote. This may seem shallow, but after feeling so much chemistry with the man I was madly attracted to, it's difficult 
to be in this position. It's next to impossible to find someone who possesses every single quality I want, especially because I live in a small town and I'm likely not going to match everything on his list either. Pause. Of course not. You're a single mommy of two and you're 40. But yet you're extremely picky, huh? Back to the article and quote. How do I break down these barriers that I'm putting in front of him? Writes, no sparks in Oregon. The Dear Abby columnist responds by saying, Dear No Sparks, I can't guarantee this will work, but a giant step in the right direction might be to stop talking every day with the man you are attracted to. Although he appears to be over you, you do not appear to have him completely out of your system. Until that happens, no one is going to measure up. End quote from the article. Dear Abby, entitled Mom in Dating Game ponders trading attraction for security. Let's talk about it. Can you believe the nerve of such a female, 40 years old, single mom, yet expects attraction and money, expects someone to come in and step up and play stepdad and provide a great life for her two children and herself. And although her expectations are very high, let's not forget that she has options because guys today, Many of them are S-I-M-P's. And if you think about it, why in the world would she even have a choice between the two? That's because most guys see her as the prize and not themselves. Although it should be obvious, she's the one who needs a protector and provider, not him. She's the one who needs this magnetic attraction and obviously not them because these two guys, one with looks and one with security, are actually courting a 40 year old single mom of two. There is no limit on how low the simp can go. But there are many red flags here. And the question is, have you ever met a female like this? Because there are plenty out there have nothing to offer, but expects everything. And this is what you get when you deal with older females, specifically when they have kids. She ain't looking for love per se. She's looking for a paycheck and a babysitter. So I got a few points to make, man. A, she's 40 with two kids, lots of baggage, lots of experience, actually too much experience. You want an experienced doctor. You want an experienced mechanic, but you do not want an experienced wife. This should be a red flag for any guy upon first meeting, first conversation, first interaction, not to take one seriously. However, in the world full of SIMPs, this is the norm for them to deal with such. B, she said that she was single for five years. Again, that's code for the carousel that she's been riding for five years, which is since she was 35 and of course, before then, now what does such circumstance and situation that she's in being single for five years and being 40 mean for you if you meet a female like this? Well, it means that the creature is dangerous. It means keep away. It means that she can't pair bond. She's obviously a very terrible dating choice. This should alarm you. For us, yes, but for the SIMP, no. Then she goes on to say that dating the guy who is financially stable, so to speak, the guy that has the financial success, that this guy would make a great stepdad. This shows that she could care less about who the man is, his character, his personhood. All that matters to her is his pockets. This is what happens when she's not attracted, right? Just his pockets are important. And this poor blue pillar of a guy will convince himself with her help, of course, that he actually could have a long lasting and loving relationship with her. She sees a paycheck, 
not a person. How sad for such a guy who actually becomes ensnared in her trap. But when you think about this, in a sense, these guys kind of deserve to get played. Why would any self-respecting guy want to wife up a post wall single mommy of two? We always talk about the wall and she definitely hit it at 40 plus and she has kids again. Never underestimate the power of the simp. There is nothing that a female could do that would turn him off. Most guys would wife her up. Sad to say. There are no amount of kids, weight, age, or facial challenges that would deter the average guy from trying to wife her these days. And this is why I often say that you cannot win with females because she starts out losing when you deal with her because she has next to nothing to offer. Just look at this story as an example. A single mummy of two who's 40 still has options. Although she's a huge liability coming with plenty of baggage, but has options. And these options exist because men don't value themselves enough. Therefore, she can't lose and will never lose as long as the male psyche is what it is. And I don't see this changing anytime soon. And she had the nerve to say that the guy with the money that she's not attracted to him physically. However, she is very attracted to him financially and I can only imagine how she looks and I'm sure that she's not attractive but many guys many guys look past such and when you think about it she's just looking for a financial supporter although she wants a guy with good looks and how is she different from a streetwalker she was single for five years riding a carousel now she's looking to be wifed up by somebody with lots of cash how is that not just like the streetwalker. How is she any different? How is your girl any different? Think about it. And this is yet another reason why we keep it casual and occasional, why we pump and let her dump catch and release method by Black Run 313. This is why we do not date, we recreate. Because there are no real wifeys out here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so that you will not miss a Black Realm 313 video. In the description box are links to the PayPal, to the Cash app, to the Patreon page, to the second channel, as well as an email address if you want a one-on-one -on -one consult. And until next time, my brethren, this is Black Realm 313 reporting the news, and I'm out.